All right, the scary part's done, I suppose. Got the whole main shaft all taken apart. I made sure that I took it apart in order, as you can see, so that I can have a better idea of how to put it back together on here. Uh, note there are a couple keys in here. Uh, one being here and one being here. Those, I guess, are locking balls for the gear so they don't spin. Um, so be careful when you take it apart that those don't fall out and that you make sure that you have those when it goes back together. First thing, you gotta make sure you have some assembly lube. We're lubing up some of the parts here as we're putting the new bearings on. on. So, Got to make sure again that this ball on the main shaft is there as you're putting this piece in. There's a little locking uh, indention there that, that wants to fit over. I understand here. Right. Just clicks right into place. I believe we want to put the uh, synchro hub back on here. So notice that our synchro hub assembly has some keys in here. There's three of them. There are little rings in there that are kind of springs. If you note that there is a gap from here to here where there's no spring on this side, on the other side we flip it over. Uh, there is another ring there as well. Uh, you want to do it offset on either side. So this gap here is actually filled out on this side with this ring, if you can see there. So when it goes on, it needs to be like that. So we're going to go ahead and put our synchro in here, should just fit in there, like so. We're going to go ahead and put it on here. And I believe that this side kind of looks like horseshoes is the one that goes against onto the main shaft here. We're gonna have to go ahead and put the first gear synchro on here, the main shaft. Slide right on. Shit on. Okay. I have to do a needle bearing. So again, some assembly lube. We grab the first gear. Throw that on. washer again that there's an indention remember we talked about those balls got to make sure that they get on there as well All right. we're gonna set the counter shaft in there so you got to hold the main shaft all together as it's going in or it will fall apart I've already had it happen once really don't want it to happen again <laughs> um, so just be careful time for some bearings so in the interim of the build I realized after talking to George at Valley Hybrid that Pressing these bearings on the H55, which is not going to be a good option to do alone without a real press or uh, the real Toyota tools. So, went out to visit uh, my friend Evan at Classic Motors, and uh, we're about to go pick up that transmission. He pressed everything, and all right. Back from the machine shop, uh, Classic Motors. Here's the H55, it looks like a dream. And it looks like Evan did a bang up job, he even wrapped it like Christmas for me. So everything's back together, it looks like everything moves freely. So now we need to put the fifth gear stuff in and then we'll call this build a day for now. Um, it is raining, so it's a good day to jump on the project.
Next step is add this little baby pin here into this slot here on the counter shaft. Done deal. Take this thrust washer and that goes on top of that. Boom. So we got to rebuild fifth gear here. So one thing to know is we're going to take these keys and we're going to put them in these slots. And so they go all the way around. There's three of them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put the sleeve on. Make sure that the flat end here actually goes against the gear. And when you put it in, there's another groove here that needs to go into the groove of the three collars. Slides in, then you're gonna take your springs and we're gonna put those in. A little bit of a pain. Um, then we're gonna have to get our roller bearing, which is brand new. We'll put a little bit of grease on that and then we'll get it on the shaft. There's a brand new bearing. So I believe that goes in here like that. So we'll look at the diagrams a little closer. Here's our brand new synchro, which you know I had, that's gonna go on top here. And then here's our brand new fifth gear, which is, you know, it's been sitting around a little bit, so it's got some rust. So I'm gonna put some gear oil on there so it looks a little bit like this old one. Note though, that this was the reason why it was popping out. And even the machine shop from Evan said that because these were so rounded, if you can see how rounded those gears are, um, that's why it was popping out. Um, if you look on this brand new one, look how sharp those are. Um, that's gonna keep it from popping out, as I hope, so. So one thing I'd like to point out is that the shifter fork um, for fifth gear needs to go on at the same time as all of this assembly here. So we're gonna put that on. Um, everything is there, that needle bearing is in there, the brake part, it's all on there. Make sure you line it up and it just slides right on. We got the synchro and the grooves there. Go ahead and see if we can press this thing on a little bit. So that's fifth gear all in place. All that's left to do here is torque down this nut and stake it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. When you're torquing this nut down, 94 foot pounds. Um, one thing that you can do is you can lock it out, which will give the ability to have the shafts not spin. Get that in there one handed. So if you see, it does not spin. And then you can actually torque that guy. Take our punch, stake this nut down. All right, note uh, that I did replace this seal right in here, um, right before this retainer goes on, the sealer. I put sealer, and then I put the gasket, and then I put sealer again, just to make sure that there are no leaks. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that on. So you have to go make sure that you put some sealer on these bolts before they go into the retainer, um, because they do go into the side of the trans, don't want any leaks. forget these important pieces which will lock the fifth gear shifter into place. They go right here in this hole there.
So that completes the H55 build. There are some small things I still need to take care of uh, when I go to put the transfer case. But for now, it's complete. I feel really great about it. Uh, I put an H42 lever on it as I don't have the 55 lever yet. And it goes through the gears. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So that's gonna do it for the H55F build. It came out phenomenal, I couldn't be happier. Um, if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe as well as like the video. Um, I wanna send a huge thank you to Georgia Valley Hybrids. Uh, this build wouldn't have been possible without him as well as my local machine shop. Um, so thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.